I'm just going to go over a few announcements. Uh, please uh, make sure that you, if you did not receive one coming in, that you take uh, the weekly bulletin. And there's everything in there. So uh, if you just come in, you will see who we're honoring as a saint, who the memorial services are for today. And let me uh, honor them again. John Courageous of 40 Days, Anne Manos of Three Years, Hercules A. Manos of 43 Years, and Michelle Bissius of 12 Years. Indeed, may their memory be eternal. And they live through you and through your hearts. So continue to pray for them. It is most essential that you bring me the names so that I can pray for our loved ones. And through the memorial service, it is a beautiful opportunity to keep them alive within us. So please continue to do so. But you will also see the readings of the day. You will see the changing hymns. We've placed the liturgy books back within the pews. Did anybody bother to pick it up and to follow along? Uh, it's something very important. You need to do that. So uh, they are available again. Uh, these beautiful chanters are doing such an incredible job. Uh, they just began chanting. And look at how far they have come. Uh, they work tirelessly. You know that they go through the service and, and practice all of the hymns. They're, they're here for the uh, matin service, which begins at 845. Unfortunately, uh, if we're fortunate, we might have five to ten people. And within that service is something very beautiful. It's the uh, Eothina. It's an Eothinon, is a singular. It's the gospel reading for uh, a resurrectional gospel reading. Because what is today? Today is Sunday, the day of the resurrection, right? So we have 11 readings. And these readings take place between the Lord being resurrected to this coming Thursday, which is Ascension. So during that 40-day period, he appeared on earth, and he's teaching his disciples, he's teaching the women that are gathered around him, the myrrh-bearing women, he is teaching the 70. There's 12, and then there's 70 that extend. And then there are other people that are following him. But during these 11 Gospels, we hear so much beauty and nobody hears them. So do your best. I'm not, I'm not giving you a hard time. I'm just making observations, okay? So do your best. Try to get here a little earlier so you can hear these Gospels. This Thursday, the Lord is going to ascend to heaven. It's 40 days after his resurrection. And from the 40th day, he goes up into heaven and they don't know what to do. But he said, my father will send you the Holy Spirit. Right? And on the 50th day, which is Pentecost, which is the feast day of the church, the birth of the church, then the Holy Spirit comes upon these apostles and they become not just fishermen, but now fishermen of men, it says in the hymn. So I'm not going to go too deep into all of that. But look at all the beauty that you're missing. And don't say, I'm not coming to Pentecost because the service is longer. Come and hear the prayers. And come to hear about the Holy Spirit. Your faith is projected throughout. So I will move on. Thank you for allowing me to tell you that. So this coming Thursday, Holy Ascension, Matins or Orthros at 9 a.m., Divine Liturgy at 10. If you can't come, the live stream will be on. You can watch it. If you don't see it at the time or you're at work or you're busy, you can always log on and look at it a little later. But all of the information to log on is on this. 
So if you don't know where to find things, you need the bulletin. So make sure that you take a bulletin. In addition, we have other things in here. Uh, specifically, uh, we let you know what's going on here at the church. I'm not going to go through all of those things now. Uh, but we also have something beautiful that just began. The Metropolis is now sending us announcements. And we're able to let you know what's going on within the Metropolis. So there's an entire page devoted to that. So make sure you take a bulletin. I have to make an announcement now. This was just sent out to all of the priests and all of the parishes on Friday. My dear Reverend Clergy Christos Anesti, at the direction of His Eminence Metropolitan Gerasimus, and this is from Bishop Ioannis, our Chancellor, I send you his letter regarding Sunday, June 6, as National Sisterhood of Presbyteres. Sunday, along with the encyclical, His Eminence Archbishop Elpidophoros, and request that it will be disseminated to your parishes. Well, we weren't able to do that because the bulletin was already printed, so I'm going to read to you its very brief letter. And this is with love in the risen Christ from Bishop Ioannis of Fokia, Chancellor of the Metropolis of San Francisco. And this is from Metropolitan Gerasimus. I will read his encyclical. Beloved co-workers in the Lord, Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. All of you toil and work with unwavering dedication and commitment in the vineyard of the Lord. And he's speaking to the presbyteres. Your ministry and pastoral care of the people of God entrusted to you is boundless. For this I am profoundly grateful for your selfless service. Your ministry for many of you is enhanced by the humility support, encouragement, and prayers of your presbytera. Her own ministry of sharing your joys and heartaches, successes and challenges is more often overlooked or not given its proper due. His Eminence Archbishop Elpidophoros has dedicated this Sunday, June 6, 2021, as National Sisterhood of Presbyteras Sunday to honor the faith, love, and support of these special women. I ask that you broadly distribute the enclosed encyclical and appropriately honor your presbytera in the parish with love in the risen Christ, Metropolitan Gerasimus of San Francisco. I will uh, send this out tomorrow in email through a blast. And I will also include the letter from Archbishop Alpidophoros of America. Uh, we have a devoted presbytera here who supports me and has taken care of our children and our family while I am here taking care of you. So, just through words, not with any gifts or anything, but we honor you, Presbyter Aida. And I thank you for allowing me to be able to serve this community because you take care of the home and you take care of our family and you take care of the children you take care of your mother and you take care of me when I get home. So we honor you today. Uh, she, she's chanting now. She sings in the choir. She teaches high school, Sunday school. She's on the board of the Philoptohos. She has been the leader and director of the Junior Goya. 
I'm sure I'm missing things. Uh, she has assisted me with the acolytes and helped to prepare them and make sure that their robes fit and that they are cleaned and that they know what they're doing through practice. So, but it's all done as we heard behind the scenes. And so we honor you. But we also honor all of you, the people that do the things that people don't see. Like Mr. Nick Clesis, who was here before 8.30 this morning and is projecting this divine liturgy, these services, so that people that couldn't come can watch, or people from another city, or another state, or another country even, are able to see. Appropriate when we talk about the blind man today. Or Jim Ronis, who directs our choir, and now has graciously taken on being a beautiful chanter and offering his wonderful talents. Or Liam McCann, who gives of himself. He's here too, early, practicing all through the week, looking at the hymns. He's learning this music. He just came to orthodoxy not that long ago. But look, he's giving of himself and giving of his talents. It goes on and on. I, I shouldn't have mentioned names because now I'm not mentioning people that have done so many great things. But just know that there is a ministry for you and something you can do as small as putting flowers in here or breaking, baking prosphora. Yota Pulos bakes all of our prosphora. God bless her. So I'll stop there. We have coffee for you. It's a beautiful day. This is the last Sunday of the Paschal season because as I told you, Sunday, I mean, excuse me, when, Thursday, it's always on a Thursday, is Ascension. So we keep the flowers on the Kavukli on, for 40 days. You see that the Lord is not on the cross. He's laid to rest in the holy altar area. But he'll be back on the cross next Sunday. He'll be back on the cross on Thursday. The banner will be gone. The resurrectional banner. So all these things... Somebody's got to do all this work, right? I have the joy of doing most of it. Uh, but it is an honor and a privilege for me to do that. So with that, we will conclude. I'm going to ask you all to stand for a moment because we can still sing Christos Anesti. And I want you all to sing it with me. We'll do it in Greek and we'll do it in English. Let's see. I want to light my candle, but I lost my taper here. Remember in my sermon I said that I hold this candle during the 40-day of the Paschal season. Oops. Christos anesti ek nekron thanato thanaton pa isas ketisen tizmni masi zoin harisa
trampling down upon death and to those in the tombs he has granted life Christos honesty Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Christos Anesti. Christos vos cresci. Christos Anesti, ek nekron thanato thanam ton patisos, ketis etis nimes izuin harisamenos. Christos Anesti, o Kyrios. This beautiful candle, this Paschal candle was made for me by the nuns at the Holy Monastery of the Life-Giving Spring in Dunlap. And I want to thank Andy and Elizabeth Demopoulos for donating it to the church. It's a beautiful candle, see? You can all buy these next year if you like. Um, they do sell these, so God bless you all. Uh, remember, uh, we are waiting for an announcement on the 15th. And if the announcement comes through, as we hope, then we will not be social distancing. Uh, you can wear your mask. It's not mandatory, but if you, that is if you are vaccinated. So if you're not vaccinated, we kindly ask that you wear your mask. Of course, we're not going to check. We're not going to see if you have a card or whatever. We're going to go on the honor system. So uh, because we are a church, and uh, you should care for your loved ones of the people that are here in this community. If you're not vaccinated, be safe, wear a mask. But it's entirely uh, up to those who are vaccinated if they do wish to not wear a mask. And we're waiting for that on the 15th. So one more Sunday, okay? Just like this, where we sign up online and And we uh, follow the protocols. Okay, I will hand out the andidro. Now we have coffee, so you'll have to go over across the way to get your coffee.